Uh, well, first of all, um, it's very much a case of, again, um, moving from that aware to capable of actually broadening out from my own subject discipline to then start having a look at how other subjects and areas of learning in the school deliver that content and try to deliver uh, and exploit other subject disciplines. So for example, I went into an IT lesson, sat down there and had a look at how they develop English and uh, maths into their lessons. I went into a physical education lesson where again I had to look at how they exploit other subject disciplines in that and that proved again highly invaluable for me moving from that capable to QTS where I could actually pick up skills where they were not in my own subject discipline of biology but were broader again. Um, linked to that then a lot more time in terms of getting a solidified lesson plan in place where the tasks in the lesson were um, of significant importance to both the content of it and meeting them learning objectives that came a lot more into play but again sitting down with my teachers that were in my department and other teachers around the school and having a look at well how can I for example are we going to fit our Welsh into place how in the in that lesson could I put a task into place that would probably use Welsh in it um, for students to still meet the same learning objective but do it in a way that's a bit different to what they normally would um, again, in terms of mathematical problems, well, maths and science go hand in hand. Um, so in terms of uh, some tasks, for example, if we were doing a past paper question, it'd be a case of, well, we're going to move away from the stereotypical tick a box, maybe sometimes in science, to that question where they've got to have a look at a graph, analyse a graph, which is, again, strong link to mathematics. Um, and do questions along them lines. Or it might have been that big six mark question you sometimes get in a GCSE exam question where they're asking for you for that qualify, um, quality of written communication where that link to literacy again comes in where students actually have to use their skills in English to be able to write in full paragraphs, full sentences and then develop their skills in English from that. So in terms of keeping my subject knowledge up, up to scratch, it's very much a case of um, doing my own research as well. So continuously look, keeping up to date with things that are happening in terms of the scientific world. Um, so then when it comes to delivering that content, I've got all my knowledge up to date as much, much as possible. So for example, in terms of G a GCSE biology, we teach students about the effects of smoking. Now in terms of the modern world, we now know that vaping is coming into play. So, um, I've had a look at and research into the effects of vaping as well because that always pops up as a question from students in the, in the, in the class. Now that as such isn't in terms of the specification but in terms of delivering that content to students is very much um, topical. Um, again with the coronavirus uh, pandemic the unit two of the, in terms of the GCSE biology exam has a look at viruses and bacteria. So uh, in instead of them doing the stereotypical case studies all the time, we actually spent a lesson having a look at, well, what is coronavirus? How is it affecting us? So students were actually able to have knowledge of something that is very ha very much happening, happening here and now and very much happening um, to them. Um, now that meant then they, were, they had knowledge to be able to go home and talk to their parents about something that is quite a big problem. Um, so I think we're moving away from it a bit now, but um, in terms of uh, keeping up to scratch again, it came from reading scientific papers, it came to talking to my peers as well, and developing myself in a way that was very much collaborative. 